Hello there, I'm Jeanette Lane, craft designer here at Craft Stash. And today in this video, I wanted to show you how to make an amazing, interactive, and really fun card featuring the latest Apple Blossom collection, which is called the Drinks Trolley Collection. And Apple Blossom is a brand that's exclusive to Craft Stash. And I know that you're gonna fall in love with it as soon as you see the entire collection because it's unlike anything that I've ever seen before. I'm really excited to show you. There's just so much to go through, so I'm gonna quickly zip through all of these wonderful um, products which were designed by Vicki Wellsby. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already, but yeah, we have a stamp set, we have die sets, we have um, coordinating um, embossing folders and stencils, and this whole collection literally rocks my retinas. It's adorable and again unlike anything I've ever seen before and these cards are great for all occasion and they're just so fun and quirky and they're perfect for you know anniversary cards, wedding cards, birthday cards. There's something here for everyone and I know that you're really going to enjoy this collection so you can see the whole thing at craftstash.co.uk if you want to take a closer look and also head over there for some more inspiration. So let's get started on that card tutorial. So I'm really excited to share this tutorial just because it's so fun. And what I've done is just create like a soda, a soda glass. And when you pull on the brown cardstock, which is supposed to be the soda, it reveals a fun little um, party sentiment in the background with some glitter card. And it's just so cute. And I know that you can adapt this same technique to the rest of the collection. So you can do a wine glass or you can do a champagne bottle or even the Coke bottle as well. So let's jump right in. So for my card base, I used a piece of blue card, shimmery blue card, and I just did a quick tent fold and sized it to A6. And then I'm gonna grab my glass die and I'm going to die cut the glass die on the front of my card only. And to do that, I'm just gonna open up my card and lay it flat on my cutting pads and then run it through my Sizzix little fold away um, machine here, which is super cute and adorable and it's tiny and I love it. If you wanna make sure that your die doesn't budge through the die cutting process, then you can just add a little bit of washi tape on top of your die to secure it to the front of the card so it doesn't move around and cause a lopsided glass. I like to get all my die cutting out of the way first. And so once I'm done with my glass outline die, I'm gonna grab some of these nesting circles by Creative Dies, which is also a brand that's exclusive to Craft Stash. And I'm gonna grab the tiniest, tiniest little circle in the center. And this is gonna help me create some notches on the bottom of my card so that the brown part, the actual soda part is easy to grab and if you have a notch punch then you can use that as well but I found that this little mini circle is the perfect size to create a notch. Notice that when I die cut the circle to create the notches that I die cut through both sides of the card so I just closed my card and ran it through the machine so that the notches would be on both sides on the front part of the card and also on the back. It just makes it so much easier to grab the soda part of the card which is the brown card stock in the middle. Next, I'm die cutting a piece of white cardstock and I'm using the nesting uh, glass portion of the die, so the part that goes inside of the glass. And I'm gonna use that to stamp my party sentiment and also some little fizzy bubbles. Next, I'm die cutting my straw and for that I'm using this gorgeous polka dotted foiled red cardstock by DCWV. I wanted to add some fun texture to the soda part of my card, which is the brown cardstock. And I'm gonna do that by doing some embossing and I'm using the Cascading Hearts by Creative Embossing. And this is also a brand that's exclusive to Craft Stash. And I will make sure to list this product below in case you're interested in grabbing that. The great thing about the Sizzix Fold Away machine is that you can use your platforms from the normal uh, Big Shot and use them on your Sizzix fold away. And so I'm gonna be grabbing the multi-purpose platform and doing some embossing on tab one. 
Next, I'm gonna do some stamping and some heat embossing, and so I'm gonna grab one of the sentiments from the collection which says, enjoy, and I'm gonna stamp that on the front of my card right where the glass curves, and I'm gonna grab my Nouveau embossing ink pad and load up my stamp with some of that embossing ink, and then I'm gonna sprinkle on the top, I'm gonna to add some Cosmic Shimmer Detail Embossing Powder in True White, and then I'm going to shake off the excess, and then I will heat set that with my Ranger Heat It tool. My Enjoy sentiment is all done on my card front, and next I want to stamp the inside of my card, so the little glass that's gonna go on the inside of the card is gonna have the party sentiment and also the fizzy bubbles. And I'm just placing those stamps kind of where I want on the glass, the little glass outline shape. And then I'm gonna grab my acrylic stamp block and place it right on top. And then the stamps will cling to the block in the way that I want. And I'm gonna load that up with some black memento ink. And then I'm gonna stamp up my little glass and I'm using, as you can see, I'm using a little bit of scrap paper on the back so that I don't stamp my table on accident and create a mess. To create the sparkly background of my card, I'm using this gorgeous blue cardstock by Paper Mania, and I'm gonna trim it so that it fits inside of my card, and I'm gonna just eyeball that and mark the edges with a pencil where I wanna do my trim marks, and I don't wanna show, I don't want the glitter cardstock to show through the notch, so I'm making sure that I trim right above the notch, and then I'm gonna glue the whole thing down with some Stix2 tape runner. Next, I'm gonna add my party glass to the center of the glass outline on my card front, and I'm using my tape runner for that as well, and also at the same time making sure that my glass, my party glass is in the center before I move on. Now for the embossed soda portion of my card, I'm gonna trim that so that it gives me enough room to glue the sides down on my card. And again, I'm eyeballing this and marking where I need to trim with a pencil. This isn't a traditional card, so it's not gonna open up like a regular card. And when you're trimming your brown cardstock, just keep that in mind and give yourself enough room to seal the edges of your card with a little bit of glue, except the bottom edge, of course, and then trim off enough of the sides of the brown card so that it can slide in and out freely <laughs> outside of your card. Now I'm adding some glue to the two edges of my card. And in retrospect, I would have used some red liner tape, but I opted for some tacky glue and it worked really well. But um, just again, like in hindsight, I would definitely use and recommend the red liner tape. It's time to add the finishing touches to my card. So I'm gonna be gluing my sparkly red straw with some tacky glue. And I found that the straw was just a little bit long for the look on my card. And so I just trimmed off the bottom just a little bit, but it's definitely optional, it's up to you. And once I glue my straw down, I'm gonna add a little twine bow, a red and white twine bow. And then I'm gonna top that with a little self-adhesive red pearl. And this is optional, but if you have a white ink pen, you can add some dashed lines on the edges of your card just to add a little fun detail to it. And I am done with my card. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to head over to Craft Stash where you will find everything that I use to make this card as well as, as, well as heaps and heaps of inspiration and ideas for you to enjoy. I'm Jeanette Lane. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.